Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your general reading for September 2024. If you just found my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. For those of you returning, I'm happy to have you back. All right, Cancer, I had a very interesting vision for you for September. Um, I, I, I heard there is something you are birthing. Um, now, it could be a baby <laughs> for some of you, maybe, but I'm getting it's more um, maybe a, a work idea. I saw, you know, like on an axis, I saw a growth chart and an upward trajectory in whatever's being measured. And that can be growth. It can be revenue. I saw a seedling in the first part of the chart, and then it sprouted above ground um, with three leaves and then it got a little bigger and it started to branch off and then we have a full-blown tree at the at the very end I mean I tried to doodle it but like it's something's growing and I asked Archangel Metatron what does cancer need to know about this and the message was so clear I heard believe in yourself believe in yourself Whatever you're birthing, you've got this. I just saw one, two, three. Nice, a progression. Okay, Cancer, let's find out what this is. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or for those cross-watching for the sign of Cancer? Appreciation. You might be recognized for the work you do. There could be someone or an organization who appreciates you. Okay, action. <laughs> All right, let's see where we go with this, Cancer, for September 2024. The garden and the gate. This can be a little bit of a reluctance to move out of a comfort zone. Maybe some of you, you know, enjoy the confines of what's familiar and you're being asked to kind of branch out. What is that getting my attention? True love. It's interesting because we do have the door to romance that came out. But I, you know, I wonder if this has something to do with you know, maybe you are focusing more on something you're doing and maybe less on a relationship or what another person and their involvement in your life or business um, carries. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that. Hostilities. Whatever you're deciding, I, I think you don't want anything getting in your way. And I don't know what that is. Storm warning, happy success. I mean, you might be fighting for something that's really important to you. You may have come from an environment that didn't support you, whatever it was. This could even be you were caged and it didn't allow you to like really love the work you do. If there's something about um, opening yourself up to uh, an experience that's expansive and fulfilling. I think something's coming you don't see coming, storm warning. And it could be success out of nowhere. I mean, let's not forget the vision I had. There's a reason for that. And you're fighting your way through whatever murkiness or instability maybe or indecision is holding you back. I mean, Spirit said very clearly, believe in yourself. I, I feel like I want to... I want to pull another strategy. I feel like it's in business. I feel like whatever you're doing, you are laying out a plan that has, you know, kind of a long-term effect. You might feel hostilities that it's been a little bit of a struggle. You may feel unsupported and you're like, just get out of my way. <laughs> you know, this, this could even be just as symbolic that you're like, yes, I'm going to slay the dragon. Like you have this strong determination within you and nothing's going to get in your way. You're not even wearing your helmet. To me, sometimes I see this as someone who's like so ready to go for it, whatever it is. Okay. Wow. Um, where do I want to 
we go with this? Yeah, I want to get another layer of flavor on this from the guided soul. What is spirit showing you about what is on your path? And this could come in the form of guidance as well. What is on Cancer's path? Okay. Pennies from heaven. Oh, <laughs> growth. Yes. Believe in yourself. Whatever you're working toward, the there's an upward forward trajectory. Maybe there's something you are trying to align yourself to and, and it's just not there. It could be a corporate job. It, it, heck, it could be a relationship. I don't know. There, there could be butting heads with teammates or a boss. Yeah, wow. The storm warning could be something's done. The situation is done. And, and that's different for everybody. But I feel like you're, you're turning a page and maybe now you are getting what you've been fighting so hard to achieve. A new partnership or group is being formed. You may have people on your path who will help you. Remember that appreciation energy? You, you could be forming a new business partnership. Now, I feel like there could be a couple scenarios that are happening here. Some of you don't have a supportive work environment and you're like, I'm so done. I want to, you know, I'm, I'm afraid to go out on my own, but I need to go out on my own. And maybe when you do, it's like, wow. Okay, let's put these aside and see what the tarot has to say. I feel like this is the most important energy that you're going to be joining forces with like-minded people. This could just be idea generating. It doesn't have to be a partnership, but it could. Okay, so what is playing out for you, Cancer? Choose wisely. Seven of Cups. Interesting. This could be that you have many options. It could be that there's one that stands above the rest. It could be that some choices have consequences and others could really pay off strategy. Okay, let's see what's playing out for you, Cancer, regarding whatever this is that's going to grow. Oh my gosh, the cards are just active. Okay, hope, the star, shining, standing out, a wish fulfilled, achievement, um, something coming to you that you're like, whoa. Maybe some of you are being catapulted to stardom. I don't know. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to try to keep these in order. All right obstacles and challenges. There's something to overcome and you need to stick up for yourself. I, I, again, I'm getting, you're not even wearing your helmet. You're like, yep, I think this is something you want. And no matter what the obstacle is, even if there is a, a break, a barrier, a chasm, a void, or some other uh, perceived limitation, you're like, uh -uh. I'm not going to let it get in my way. Okay, wow. We have the Nine of Swords. And I, I feel like this is indicating you're a little bit worried about what you do. And sometimes worry can just stop us in our tracks. Even if we are manifesting something that we are really excited about. Passion ignited. Then we have Patience and the Moon. I feel like what you've been waiting for, I mean, maybe this is something you don't even see coming. Because with the moon, it's like, oh, um, you know, hidden things. I guess I'll put these up here. You might want to look at these numbers, 8, 33, 26, 10, 21, and 8. A couple of 8s. Okay, we'll just put these up here. So, Cancer, let's get some clarity for you because I feel like... Um, there's, it feels like, 
I, I, this could be metaphorical, but I, I kind of feel like there's a double edged sword happening. Like it requires you um, let go of something or fight for something or, um, you know, maybe even believe in yourself. What you're manifesting is coming to pass. And maybe in your own mind, you're kind of getting in your own way. Maybe there's no barrier at all. And all it requires is for you to say, I want this. I deserve this, whatever that means, because I, I, it's right here. It's right here. Now, the moon can be fear. You could have to overcome something that is seemingly, um, you know, an obstacle for you or getting in the way for you. So let's let's unpack this a little bit. I, let's take a look at the obstacles, if any, you're facing. Obstacles and challenges. Stand your ground. What is it that could be in your way, real or perceived? There could be a lot of um, activities or the things that you need to organize to make something happen. You could also be, um, you know, kind of scraping money together. It could be that you need to just focus, like heads down, get to work. What are you doing to build upon this? Is there anything or anyone that stands in the way of making this happen? Let's get more clarity on that. Real or perceived, I, you know, the situation could be different for all of you, but the two of pentacles, five of pentacles is like, well, if it's time to get going, I, I need to prioritize. Oh, tower, storm morning. Okay, let's keep going. We have temperance right here. Same card. Patience. Seven of Wands again. And the Queen of Wands. I think that there is the need for, um, okay, I'm hearing confidence building, confidence building. And the Queen of Wands is all that. It could be that there's, um, you know, a great idea that you have and you need to believe in yourself that you can do this. If you have um, someone who's interjecting an opinion or something like that, um, you know, stand your ground. I mean, fight for what you want. If there is, I don't know. I mean, if this is in a relationship, it could be that you're, you're looking at something a little bit differently than another person. Maybe you need to talk about it. I, d I don't necessarily get this as a barrier. I'm feeling like what this is, is your energy. The queen of wands is fiery, confident, um, takes risks. And it's almost like you see where you want to go and then you backpedal out of it or something ends up changing your mind or placing doubt. And you're like, oh, well, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe no. Hmm. Let's get just one more. And I want to clarify the Queen of Wands. This could be a person. The Four of Cups. With the Four of Pentacles. I think... <laughs> um, you have removed yourself from a situation that has been hugely disappointing. And I feel like um, what's happened is it has, I don't want to say thwarted your progress, but it could be that you like were, were super excited and then something happened to make you, to, to like give you pause um, this could be a very strong personality in your space. I mean, it could be another person. And I'm, I'm feeling like there's been a, a reflection on something that was difficult. This could even be the decision, do I go out on my own or do I try to, um, you know, stick something out? And maybe, you know, something in you, maybe even your pride is like, 
well, I don't, I don't want to be seen as like giving up on this. I feel like I need to work maybe harder at this, but you know, in your heart indecision, no, I don't really love this. It could be a boss who's an influence. It could be a situation that you're reflecting on. And I feel like spirit is saying, don't hold on to what didn't work. It's oil and water. And, and you have to place yourself in the situation. But it's like y you understand what the dilemma is. And the dilemma is, well, you know, I need to move forward. And, you know, I could always walk inside that church, metaphorically. Um, I, I am feeling a little bit like, I don't know if this is like lost, directionless. Hmm. I also feel, and I know we don't have, you know, really any, any necessarily strong cups energy, but what I do see is that there's something that would fill your cup and not leave them empty. And the divine is saying, here, here's the opportunity, but look at it that way. Fight for it. Don't let a circumstance, a situation, or something that was disappointing um, keep you from that fire in your belly because here it is you've got it look at that it's burning within you and I feel like it's wanting to just be expressed what are you waiting for temperance moon are you holding back out of fear really challenge yourself to overcome that because you're manifesting something that is going to be hot <laughs> hot all right, let's look at the magician. Oh, and I'm being told, get the Osho deck. Okay, there's something really um, fulfilling I'm feeling right here. Let's see what it is. Magician, Ace of Wands, what is that? Breakthrough, justice. I love that. Something that brings you balance. Oops, I just bumped my camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look at this. Upward trajectory. You've got this. It could be something that requires a contract. Justice can mean that there's like some documents that you have to sign or put in place. You know, if this is just getting your ducks in a row, you've got this. You may break through a ceiling. You may break through uh, uh, other barriers that you have um, either, you know, falsely or that, you know, by no choice of your own were in place that you were like, I, I don't know if I can get past that. Yes, you can. These barriers, I, I feel, were like made for you to just break through them. You could be completely redefining yourself in some way that maybe um, other people like didn't believe in you. I don't know. I, um, I, I want one more. The Magician and the Ace of Wands. Intensity. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. It's, it's almost like Spirit is saying it is at your door, Cancer. What are you going to do? Are you going to open it? Are you going to take that leap of faith, fool? Patience. <laughs> the emperor taking charge. Just trust. Trust. Okay. Um, so temperance has shown up a few times. I'm not going to keep going there, but is there a fear you need to overcome? Let's look at the moon. This could also be what you don't see coming. The moon. Okay, wow. You are going to be the master of your craft. This doesn't come out often. It comes out to reflect lessons we're learning. I'm getting this in a, in a, um, the new you, the birthing, whatever you're birthing, you are going to master whatever this is. That's huge. I think you can overcome fears. Wow. Okay, this is really something. <laughs> we have healing. You may do healing work. 
aloneness. If you're in a work situation where you're like, oh, I'm, I'm tired of a bossy boss. I just don't even like being here. I don't even make enough money. I don't want to be here any longer. You may venture out on your own hermit. A Virgo could be significant for you, but I'm getting more so. This could even be like a self-employment vibe. The Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful, and the choice is yours. The lovers used to be called the choice. In this case, I feel like you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Or you can do this and master your craft. Indecision, same as the lovers. I feel like this is just jump in. Jump in because success awaits. I wish I could show you my doodle. <laughs> I mean, you know, a seedling, like a mustard seed of an idea is just going to... Okay, I want to take a look at what you need to know about this decision. What do you have for cancer? Be bold and make the first move. This is gorgeous. Spirit's encouraging you. Believe in yourself. Oh my goodness. Cancer. Work through your fears. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you'll have to tell me in the comments what you're doing. You're very close to achieving your goal. What awaits you, Cancer? What awaits? Okay, for some of you, you're learning something new. You're developing, wow. Um, you're, you're, you're working on um, developing something for a business. You're graduating. Um, we have the ball is in your court. I see that. Don't let any perceived limitations hold you back. The wait is over. We have caregiving. And this could be caring for yourself as well. Like nurturing you. And that's exactly what temperance is. You're filling your cup. I love this. Anything else? Health matters. Okay, take care of you. You could be healing. You could be entering into a healing profession. Family matters. Okay. Affecting family. Um, that could be even a separate message. I don't know why I'm continuing, but I felt like it. Professional matters. This could be um, a turning point in a family situation. Um, you know, I'm getting that for some of you, you, okay, I just heard for some of you, you're in the healthcare profession. You might want to be like a traveling, um, healthcare provider. I've heard of that, like traveling nurses, etc. That may be one idea that you have, but I mean, this is, I'm feeling like spirit is saying you totally have this, do it, like go for it. I hope that encouraged you. I, I don't even know that there's an extension to this message, but I always ask. So I'm going to sit with this with spirit and just see, is there a continuation? But if not, this, is, um, this feels really cut and dry. Fight for what you want and believe that you can do it because success, the wheel of fortune, wow. Success twice, right? You've got this. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.